What's going on everybody? This is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and today I'm going to show you how to root your Nook Color uh, if it's on version 1.4.1 or 1.4.2 which would be the newest update for the Nook Color. To check your version number you're going to click on uh, the bottom right of the screen that has your time on it. It'll bring up quick settings, click on settings, the gear that's on, that was on the top right, device info, then about your Nook Color. And it'll take you to the screen right here, and you're looking for the software version, which is right there. Mine is 1.4.2. So if you have, uh, if you're on 1.4.1 or 1.4.2, and you have a SD card that'll, a mini SD card that'll fit in the back slot of your Nook Color, then you're good to go. Just follow these directions, and uh, we'll get your device rooted. When you click on the link in the, in the description of this video, it's going to take you to the XDA forums and to this thread started by GM Power. It's for manual neuter 5.02.19. Make sure you thank him for starting this thread. And if you scroll down, it's going to tell you what it does. It's going to install BusyBox, the Zine Launcher, some live wallpapers, custom boot animation, things of that nature. And it's going to uh, modify some things, changes. Before you begin, make sure you read these before you go any further in this tutorial uh, to make sure that you don't uh, mess up anything or you forgot something or something like that. But the biggest things you're going to really need is Clockwork Mod. So click on the link right here that's highlighted. It says here and it'll take you to this other website and it'll uh, you'll be able to download a one gigabyte Clockwork Mod uh, image to flash on your SD card. Now, uh, before we get any further, don't worry about the, the size of the Clockwork Mod uh, that goes along with the size of your SD card. I have an 8 gigabyte SD card that I'm going to be using, but it's going to be perfectly fine to use a 1 gigabyte. It'll flash faster and you can, uh, you can always reformat your SD card. So, like I said, just download the one gigabyte regardless of your uh, SD card size. You'll be good to go. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. All right, and then if you don't have Win32 Disk Imager, so you can flash your image to your SD card, click on the link right here, and that'll take you to the website uh, for Win32. And you're going to want to uh, click on the Win32 Disk Imager binary.zip. So click on that and download it. And then and then you're going to scroll down a little bit more and you want to click on this first link for manual neuter. It's for the no apps to SD support. It does not change your system files. Now, uh, this is the one I recommend going to because because the second manual neuter has apps to uh, SD support, but it makes changes to system files and making it more firmware version specific. I'd like to uh, not make any changes to my uh, my my Nook or any kind of system files. It's a lot safer. If you want to take that leap, then you could download the second one. But I'm going to uh, stick with the first one. And then uh, just remember that if you do download the second manual neuter with apps 2 SD support, then you're going to want to download one of these uh, kernels, either Dallengren's OC, uh, OC kernel, which is OC for overclock, or the stock kernel. Once you have all three of those files downloaded, your manual neuter, Win32, and CWM, you're going to want to do some unzipping. So you're going to go to your CWM, and you're going to right-click it, and go to 7-zip, and extract here. Or wherever you'd want to extract it to. Now it's going to give you this Win image right here. As you can see, before I did this tutorial, I already unzipped it. So this will be your final product it'll uh, for type it'll say win image right there it'll be around 90 921,000 kilobytes and let's go back and win 32 uh, excuse me 32 you're gonna right click go to 7 zip and extract and it'll give you all these files to include the win 32 disk imager application all right now while we're here let's open up win 32 disk imager and you'll see the little pop-up right here the application and uh, we're gonna click on the folder icon Navigate to your uh, Win image for Clockwork Mod, and then double click on it. Make sure that your SD card is hooked up to your computer, either uh, plugged in to straight to your computer if you can do that, 
or through through some other way, whichever way you can hook up your SD card to your computer. And then uh, make sure it's on the right uh, directory. It should come up automatically. Mine did. It's uh, the E drive, so it's right there. It's the only thing I can pick. And then you're going to hit right. Now, as with everything else, I did this before I made this video, so mine's already written. Uh, written. It's going to probably take a couple minutes, not too long at all. All right, with your Clockwork Mod uh, that, that was written on your SD card, you're going to take your, uh, after that you're going to take your manual neuter and either cut or copy from whichever folder it's in, and then go to your SD card, and then right-click, paste. Do not unzip the manual neuter. You want to keep it in its zipped up folder. So now your SD card should look like this. this. There should be nothing else on it. You should have a MLO uh, file, U-boot, U-image, U-ram disk, and manual neuter. That is it. If, they, if you have anything else besides this, I'd suggest uh, reformatting your SD card and starting the process all over again. All right, at this point, with uh, all those files on your SD card, you're going to eject your SD card and then put it into your Nook Color. I hate how this is built. It seems like it's such a pain in the butt just to get this card in there. You know, like, move it around. Alright, there we go. So SD card is in my Nook. It's reading it. Alright, now we are going to shut it down. All right, and now we're in Clockwork Mod Recovery. So to navigate, you're going to need to use the volume up and down controls, and that'll make you go, well, obviously, up and down. And then the end button over to the right will be how to select. So you're going to go down to Install Zip from SD Card, Choose Zip from SD Card, then Manual Neuter. I'm going to select it. And hit yes. And all of this is going to happen. Alright, install from, is complete. So we're going to hit the power button to go back. And then hit reboot system now. All right, as you can see, there's a new boot animation right here after all the previous ones. It has a flashing Nook Color and Nook Color Devs right there on the bottom right. All right, now we are booted up. So after you unlock, you can see that you have Home, Soft Keys, and Zeme Launcher. We'll pick Zeme Launcher. And it's reading the SD card right there, and we are rooted. All right. As you can see, got the usual uh, Android tablet set up with the app launcher. And let's see, we'll go to settings, device info, about your Nook color. You can see nothing really changed right here. It still says 1.4.2. The only thing that's really changed is you are rooted. And let's see here, let's go home. See, that'll take you back to the actual, like, uh, the actual Nook color setup. And click on it again. And then go to back to Zeme Launcher. And there you have it. You are rooted. And you do have Super User. So that's about it. Now a couple things. Uh, if, you, if you're having troubles booting in a Clockwork Mod after you write the image onto your SD card and uh, try to boot it, uh, boot it up onto your Nook Color. If it's stuck on the loading, then there might be something wrong with your SD card. What you have to do is just try to uh, put it back into your computer and reformat it. Do the FAT32 and then don't do a quick format, do a full format. And uh, when, whenever you take your SD card out of your computer, make sure you safely eject it. Because I've had those problems before where I tried to put Clockwork Mod onto my SD card and boot up on Nook Color and it didn't work and that was what was wrong. I wasn't safely ejecting it. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was really easy to follow along. 
If you uh, have any questions, feel free to message me or leave a comment below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also all the social networking sites which are listed down below, which would be Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. As always, this is Spotlight Guy. Thanks for watching. I'm signing out.